Hello everyone, you're very welcome. Thank you for dropping by again. Okay, so today I'm going to pressurize the heating system and that allows the lads to come in and sheetrock or plasterboard the walls upstairs. Now to do this, I have a little DIY pump setup that I made and I use it on, on all the jobs. It's very portable, very cheap and although I do have kind of proper pressure testers and all that, uh, bucket testers, you know where you fill them and you mechanically pump, they take forever. This little thing, very simple, works really, really well and it works with my Makita batteries. It's a bit of a hack and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, here we go. Now this is where the homebrew setup comes in. Okay, so we've got my pump, we've got my you know manifold if you like, a couple of valves. This one is so that if I switch it off, I can stop any pressure coming back this way. I can actually lock off the system. This one is like on a bypass, so if I want to release the pressure from the system, I can open this and the pressure goes off and away. Okay, so these are about $10 or something like that. Very cheap and disposable at that. Like if you get a few jobs out of them, great. But for me, I, I've used this on lots of jobs. It's, it's quite robust. It's more in danger of getting toolboxes thrown on it and breaking that way. Okay, so look, here's a little bit of um, another bit of a hack. Okay, this is the battery I dropped the other day, held together with tape. Okay, so just so you can see this. Here's my two copper coins. And I've soldered on a wire onto the coin, okay? The reason for the coin is, is that they fit into the slide on my battery. Okay, can you see that? I know the light's not great, I can't really do much about it. Okay, and the other wire down just slides in here. And when I slide that in, there should be a noise. There you go, there's my connection. Now, okay, so there's no switch on this. This is as crude as you like, okay, but it works great. Okay, I'm just linking up this pipe with the portable pump station. So here we go, look. That's tight now. That's it. Okay, so back to, I'll show you the setup. Right, so that's our valve open. Now we haven't tested this pipe. So that's our valve open, and we're going to test the pipe now. So here we go, look. Okay, so that's the pipe I just connected, which is our return pipe. We'll go down along here, down this white pipe, in through this valve, and then through this flexi pipe, up and into the pump station, okay? So let's see. And we've got, you know, a bucket of, I don't know, half a bucket of water. I'm going to have to get some more water. Okay, so back in a minute. It never stops. So, okay, here we go. We've got our valve as a weight. Holds the pipe down into the bottom of the bucket. I fill the bucket, but, you know, maybe two inches from the top. That's uh, 10 litres. Okay, so there's 4.54 litres to an imperial gallon. I can't tell you what it is in America. Okay, so here we go. Look, I'm going to pressurise the second pipe now. But first off, I'm going to test the, the piece of pipe between our pump station and that valve. So I'm going to close off the valve, we'll test that out first. If that's okay, then I'll proceed and let the water, let the pressure, you know, fill up beyond that valve. So I'll just show you that now. The reason we're closing this valve is so that, you know, we're pressure, we're good on pressure between here and the pump. If everything is 100% sound there, then we can proceed. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this thing costs very little to make, maybe 20, 30 dollars. And it's brilliant, okay? And when the only thing that'll wear out, maybe the valves will wear out if it was getting a lot of use. Pump could possibly wear out, but this pump has lasted a couple of years now for me at this stage. And I've done many, many, many um, a test run of pipes. You know, flow returns, hot colds, whatever. Uh, underfloor heating circuits in this house, among others. So uh, it, it's been constant use and it's held up. Now, I'm not saying it's a, it's, it's a long life pump, it's not. But I've got a couple of years out of it, and when it dies, you know, it's, it's a tenner, 10 euro, 10 dollars, whatever, to replace it. Fantastic value, okay? Okay, I'm making sure the bypass valve is closed off, which it is. And now I'm going to open this one, and because the, the pump has a built-in pressure switch, I've already got full pressure up as far as this valve. When I open this, it'll automatically switch on the pump, which is great, really good. All on an 80 volt Makita battery. Here we go. Okay, so close the valve because, you know, maybe the pump will allow some stuff through as the pump ages. But if the valve holds, we're holding that six bar between here and our valve here. So I'm just checking everything. Right, everything is nice and dry. You know, nothing wet. Okay, so I've checked everything. Everything is dry. It's holding at six bar of pressure, which is great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open that valve and then I'm going to send pressure up. What I've done here is I've closed the valve, so I've switched off the pump. So the pressure from the pump only goes as far as this check valve. From here up then, we're checking the pressure from here to our second valve on those pipes I showed you just a minute ago. So not hard, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is open that one, 
open this one and let it rip. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're going to open this one. It'll get noisy, and what will happen then is it'll just pressurize the system. I'll keep an eye on this. I won't let it run forever, you know, because we might be spilling water up there. But, you know, I've double checked, so everything should be okay. Here we go. Okay, so I have two valves in that pump station. The reason for that is I can disconnect the pump from the circuit. So once the pump has generated pressure, if there's any you know, drain back through the pump, loss of pressure through the pump, I can eliminate that by putting a valve in front of it and shutting it off. So now we're relying on our two valves, which I know to be good. Okay, so I've sent pressure in and then I locked it off and now I'm watching it on a gauge. And if it holds in that gauge for you know, 15 minutes you know, at high pressure, six bars high pressure, I know it's not super high pressure for a domestic situation here in Ireland. It's actually very good. These pipes will only ever see three bars, so I'm like 100% beyond that. Okay, I'll show you this in a few minutes, and I'll just finish my tea. Okay. Okay, so I've checked everything upstairs. Everything is 100%. The pressure is holding at 6.2 bar, which is lovely. Okay, so the little pressure pumps test setup has worked really, really well. Okay, it's a fantastic little setup. It's portable. It's cheap. <laughs> Stupid cheap. Okay, it's really good. And um, you know you can connect what you like to it. And at the moment, I have a pressure testing the flow and return to a heating system upstairs in this house. It's held at 6.2 bar, lovely, and it'll hold at that forever. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain the system. Okay, this is a bypass valve, and when I open this, the water will come out. I'm just going to hold it because it'll be under pressure. Now it's water and air mixed. Okay. Okay. You can see the gauge drop to zero. It's got about a bar of pressure in it. That's about 14 psi still. And that's it. We water in there. Okay. Some of that got my leg. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now. Look, Makita battery, a couple of coins. You know, it comes out like that. They hold in lovely, and the battery's back to normal. Okay. That's it. There's my connections. This pump station, very, very cheap to make and very, very good. Really effective. Okay, I have, um, you know, test buckets and so on, and I can generate a lot of pressure. But it's a lot of pressure on me as well if it's a big system. You know, you can fill the system with water, mains water, but there is no water on site here. Also, there's no electricity. So either I bring a generator with me and, uh, you know, try and pump from the well or something. But anyway, so look, a bucket of water, um, 80 volt battery, this thing and it's it's you know it, it's job done i was able to pressure test i could pressure test the entire system no problem with just a few buckets of water and one battery okay so staying ahead of the posse today all i needed to do was the flow and return and that's me in tested and gone in just you know 20 30 minutes well 30 minutes 15 minutes of pipe and then a bit of time for dragging the tools in and out so that's it okay so look i'll sign off for now if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe, uh, click on that bell icon, comment, share, all of that. And sure look, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.